Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to be showing you how to make a delicious and flavorful naan right on your grill. So if you guys are interested, take a look at those ingredients so we can get started. Before I start, friends, I want to tell you Cloud has jokes today. She just called me Krusty the the clown. Apparently Krusty's going to make you guys some naan bread today. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, Krusty. Okay. <laughs> I know, that's how we're starting. I'm sorry for those of you that are new to the channel. We do have a sisterly bond going on. I will not and apologize for my behavior. Unapologe <laughs> unapologetically sisters, right? That's Is that right. how you say it? <laughs> okay, to your all-purpose flour, you're going to add your sugar, salt, baking powder, baking soda, Mix all those ingredients together and set it to the side. Ooh, I splashed you. <laughs> you know what song I have in my head right now? <laughs> what? The one you were singing to me right now. Forget your worries, come, come on, on, get happy. Yeah, yeah girl, you are the world itself. Aww. Add your yogurt. And for some reason, I can't seem to keep yogurt <laughs> in my refrigerator lately. You and your visitors come and eat your delicious yogurt? Yeah, you guys, my nephew, he's a teenager and he loves yogurt. Cloud and I went to our uh, local Indian market and we bought a big tub of, a tub of uh, Indian yogurt. Guys, <laughs> two days later, I'm like, where's the yogurt? Because we wanted to make more naan. And he's like, oh, Nina, he's like, I ate it. He's like, that's the best yogurt I've ever had. And I'm like, all right, Mijo, I'm glad you liked it. <laughs> yeah, he told me, so that's the best yogurt I've ever had. He's like, no wonder the food came out so good. Yeah. he saw us using yogurt. <laughs> yeah, he was really, really happy with the yogurt. So that's just the joke we have going on with the family. <laughs> Little brat. Yeah. Okay, so I tried making naan several ways because, you know, Cloud shows up to me with like recipes or pretty much ingredients and then I have to work them. Hey, hey, and hey, since hey. you guys know, Cloud has uh, dated many, many people, excuse many me? people, oh and God. they've shared their recipes with us. And you have me here making you guys some naan. Una señora mexicana making naan. So go ahead and mix that oil into your uh, yogurt. You can make it with Greek yogurt because, as I mentioned, plain yogurt doesn't last long. <laughs> you know, make it comfortable for your home. All right, add your flour. And we're gonna slowly add our warm water, okay? I'm gonna be using my hands, so those of you that are offended by them, go ahead and skip along, but I'm gonna be using the water. I'm gonna blend it in here and Been getting a lot of requests from my beautiful friends here on the channel to um, you know to make some of the recipes with the stand mixer and friends I have some surprises coming up for you guys so make sure you guys are subscribed click that bell for your notifications so that that recipe you requested when it pops up you're gonna know that's for you and thanks for all of you making the request peacefully I appreciate that and if your suegra can't cook, send her these videos. Yeah! <laughs> Para la suegra! I managed to do it a little bit sticky. All I'm going to do to correct that is use a little bit more flour. That's the thing with um, that I find with naan. Sometimes I get it sticky, sometimes I don't. It's kind of like tortillas. I know what's up, but with naan, it's a little different. You got to be born into it, right? Or practice. Like you practice your tortillas. That's what I'm gonna do. I'd say you have to practice on that. All right, I'm gonna take it off the bowl onto our board. I don't want any more moisture in here. I wanted to show you guys that I used 
half a cup of water. So I would say start pouring it in at one fourth and then adjust gradually uh, your water because just a slight few extra tablespoons is really gonna change uh, what you have going on. And then if you guys are using Greek yogurt or whatever yogurt you're using, you're gonna get a different uh, texture than you would if it's just plain yogurt, okay? So that's why you guys see it sticking a little bit more and I'm just helping myself out with a little bit of flour. All right, friends. I believe I have the texture that I want. I used Greek yogurt, so I have a little bit more stickiness. And I said to Cloud, I said, Cloud, what is our uh, humidity at? What is it at? Girl, I literally just told you. <laughs> well, I was trying to, I was trying to have our friends engage. Que grossera! What am I gonna do with this woman, you guys? So now I'm just gonna sprinkle the oil around it. Thirty percent humidity. Thirty percent humidity. So yeah, that's why I'm having a little bit of a of a difficult time with that one, but you guys know, I'll make it work. They're gonna be like, well, Steph, we don't wanna try that recipe. Well, after I, I show you guys how I cook this and it tastes amazing, you're gonna be like, all right, I changed my mind. So I think I got it with the consistency that we're looking for, nice and soft. So now I'm just gonna let this rest for about 20 minutes while I start my grill. So hang tight. Bring in a little bit of the snowy. Looks like snow. Dust your board. Then I'm gonna go ahead and divide these into little balls. Just something small that I can manage. Yeah, using the Greek yogurt really made this a little bit stickier, huh? Yeah, it really did. It's too big. I'll get through it, you guys know, I got this. So if you guys don't wanna deal with the stickiness, don't use Greek yogurt. Use plain yogurt. Yep. All right, friends. Thank you for hanging out with me out here. It's been very therapeutic for me. <laughs> right? Yes. It seems to always um, relax my energy. and We like to be outdoors doing our business. <laughs> I know you guys have heard me whine about me wanting to be outside and have my outside uh, kitchen and do that the weather's finally good yeah so if you guys have been practicing your tortillas this is super easy to do and what I like about naan is that it doesn't have to be perfect especially if you're gonna grill it you know that's right but if there's an auntie out there that wants to adopt me <laughs> message below <laughs> <laughs> And you guys want to keep this recipe that I'm giving you handy because you're going to see it again on the channel very, very soon because I have a current addiction that can't get off my mind. <laughs> see? Even the not-so-perfect ones work great. Really thin, light. Now we're ready to grow. What you're about to see now it's gonna make your mouth water and I'm sorry but I love you guys so much and I have to share it with you um, I put some chopped garlic cilantro butter and now it's just gonna warm up over our grill so that we can lather at that on our naan bread and you guys don't even know <laughs> I'm over here with my reflection over here hey guys. Hey. Ooh, ooh. Yes, what you got? how did you get everything so finely chopped um, I took some of our friend's advice and I got a little chopper and it's a little ninja chopper and it really does its thing. Nice. Oh, we're ready. Let me move it over to the side so we can start knitting. Our butter's melted and now we're, we're ready. Careful friends, okay?
bubble gum. Bubble gum. Bubble gum for you. Sorry for annoying you guys, but we like to sing when we cook. <laughs> Since we can't play music on here, we can sing. Yeah, I don't need any strikes, girl. I love <laughs> hanging out with you guys. Raji, baby, come here. So I like to stretch it out like this and I bring it and I kind of stretch it gently with my hand. Because when you got to make a lot of naan for your family, mm -hmm. rolling it perfect is kind of like, eh, don't do this to me. All right, let's head on over to the grill. Be careful and drop it like it's hot. Swipe it. Yeah, we went a little crazy on the cilantro because we love cilantro. <laughs> they already know that. They like stuff. We knew it. You don't have to get that crazy, but we did. My coals are so hot that they're orange. They're not even red anymore, girl. So I gotta be careful with this side over here. Looking good. We might stay out here till the evening. Yep, have a little nightcap. Mm -hmm. Get the babies to come out and play. Nightcap, daycap. Yeah, because I don't let them uh, play soccer when I have this grill. Yeah, that's so smart. Yeah, they'll toss it over real quick. Let me see. Ooh. So you flip it over when, when it's not as loose? I flip it over once the little bubbles are there, and I kind of like, if you saw me, I lift it up because I have a lot of heat coming from this area of my grill. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Don't want to burn it, but I don't mind the char either. I love the char. See right here, it's still doughy. Mm-hmm. I see. So you just got to be careful, friends. Not perfect, but it's delicious. I don't like to compromise my naan bread and yeah. make it on the stove top when I could just give it a lot of flavor right now. And if you want, you can add a little bit more butter to both sides. Up to you. Friends. I want to thank you guys so much for watching, and on that one, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye! Adios!